Now we are going to observe the same normal subject, again chewing gum, and this time we will observe this as a three-dimensional animation, and we will We will observe the cursor moving across the data while we observe the skull being animated by the data. And now we have the skull being animated and we can see in a sagittal view the movement of the mandible in the masticatory function. We can see the a frontal view, the same thing. We also have the temporalis, anterior temporalis activity being displayed, and the masseter activity being displayed, and the anterior digastric activity being displayed. And then we can also look at a horizontal view and see the mandible functioning as the patient is chewing gum on the right side.